that's that's wonderful. And um, and uh, Ken Mills too, one of the early pioneers in practice. I see back there. And and if there's anyone else back there from the early years who I'm missing, uh, you know, please uh, forgive me or raise your hand. Um, also, um, wanted to thank. Um, in, in addition to Carl, the rest of my staff was so <coughs> wonderful over the years. The woman in the center, Eliana Hernandez, who um, uh, retired uh, about two, two, three years ago, and moved with her husband just to the right, to her left. Uh, she had yeah. moved about two feet. Oh, okay. no, move over a little bit. This, oh, right there. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, get your yeah, face right way. in the light. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, yeah, you're. Uh, Why don't you do a dance? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Stop. Perfect. Really? You got it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Eliana yeah, always wore red. But she, and she was with me from before the official start of the AIDS epidemic in January of 1981 till just, you know, two, three years ago. So over a third of the century. And it, without her, it would have been so difficult to maintain a private practice. Uh, in addition to that, we had other greatest medical assistants too, like Gary Rust, who I see here today. And the Gary, uh, uh, Gary's one of six of my medical assistants who were inspired by our practice enough to go on to become MDs. And he's a physician here in San Francisco and uh, now and does uh, ENT over the years. So um, in any event, I think that the most important thing, though, I think is thanking our patients because um, with, without them, the courage that they displayed, particularly during those difficult years uh, of the epidemic, it would have been so difficult to continue. Um, and thankfully, you know, we did have, as Steve mentioned, the hope that someday something would happen, something would come along. Many of our patients were activists. Somebody mentioned here, uh, it was Monica who mentioned uh, the Ambassador Hotel. And, one of our patients uh, actually was the manager of that whole uh, institution and went on to become one of the biggest AIDS activists uh, in San Francisco, uh, Hank Wilson, and uh, who unfortunately passed away a few years ago. But uh, with patients like that, they were able to pry both government and industry to move on this and to come to develop new treatments that eventually resulted um, in the, uh, the situation we have today, which is certainly much better. So I hope I didn't forget anybody there, but also thanks to you guys from uh, SFGH and um, the Board 86 here, because you've always been an inspiration. And uh, certainly uh, your San Francisco model has, has brought attention to our, our city's response to the epidemic. So again, thank you all very much. Thank you.